Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Ratchet and Clank! And we last left off, we had entered Planet Novalis on a one-way journey of our ship that we built ourselves painstakingly. If only we knew how to fly, eh? Let's work on those pilot skills in the future. We'll also keep our eyes open for any secrets that may come about. Unlike, so far I don't believe I've seen any, but... Oh, hello! Blast it! <laughs> look, plumber's crack. What did you just say? I said, look, the plumber's back. All right, wise guy. Shouldn't you be on one of them escape transports? Escape transports? Newsflash! Giant robots attacking! The escape transports are taking all the rich folks off this goddarn planet. So why aren't you on one? Socioeconomic disparity. What? He hasn't got enough bolts. Working people have to wait for Captain Quark to save us. Well, got anything worth a lot of bolts? I got this thing. Shows two weirdos ditching their ship. It's got coordinates to a desert planet, too. An infobot. Ratchet, we could use that. So, we could purchase an infobot. That seems useful. We'll purchase it. Geronimo! And is off. Did he just slide down a sewer pipe? Don't worry, Ratchet. You'll be doing that soon. Mayday, Mayday! This is the Solar Ship Radical. We seem to be under attack from the planet's surface. Relax, kid. It looks like some sort of fireworks display. Probably in your honor. Whoa! That was close. Ah! Pipe right down, I can't concentrate. Well, we've been hit! Uh, an unexpected detour. When we land, I'll see if I can scare up an exhibition for you. We're not gonna live that long! Kid, let's am scream! Eject! Eject! Did you see that guy on the left? That was Skid McMarks. Does he know Captain Quark? I doubt it. He's a pro hoverboarder, always going off about how cool he is. Looks like he's in trouble. <laughs> I'll say. I've never seen him look so freaked out. Gadgetron Infobots give you coordinates for new planets. Now that you have the Infobot for Planet Iridia, you'll need to find a ship to get there. Well stated. To enter look around mode, press and hold the L1 button. Thank you for that uh, piece of information. The first piece was more pertinent. We have no ship. We have the coordinates for a new planet, but no ship to get there. But yes, Infobots are the way to get to new planets in this game. Also note how we had to pay for it. We'll be doing that a lot in this game, because uh, basically no one really does anything for free. Save their lives, and they might give you a discount on their wares. Hmm. Let's slide down this sewer pipe. Ratchet will love it, I know. And there we are. Off to a good start. We can head left next. Because I'm curious. What do we have here? A pool of water. With like two bolts in it. Up oh, three bolts. Let's not suffocate though, that would be a, a bit of a sad moment. Oh, flashing red colours. Let's get out of there. There we are. Bit of ammunition, I think we can have that. Oh, we don't actually need that, we're maxed out. Let's then use this bolt crank to open this door. What do we have over here? More money. More caves. We can't destroy these mushrooms. I think these mushrooms we can destroy. And they contain bolts, like actual mushrooms. Oh, people we must shoot with gun. Well, more throw grenades at, but hey. There we are. Let's destroy the crates and the mushrooms. In order to get all the bolts that we need. We may not be able to proceed here. We'll give it a go. I mean, I'm just concerned, like, it's a swimming section for the looks of things. And we don't have any swinging, swinging orientation upgrades at the moment. So, yes. We'll see how we go. Before we enter, we'll get as close as we can. That looks like it was a short swim. Nothing to worry about. Eventually we'll get out of here. Oh, some boxes. Those will contain money. We now have enough money for the flamethrower. Certainly an interesting option. I'm not sure if I'll purchase it first or second. It's a good weapon, so it's worth grabbing, but... Yeah, so I'll, I'll consider which weapon to get 
in the right order. Some more of these little beaky robots have shown up, but they're easily filled with the backswing of that comet, comet strike. Okay, um, let's see, just a pool of water. Let's see if there's any suspicious rock formations, like this one, for example. Hmm. 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 Secrets. Hmm. What's this? That is a gold bolt. I believe there are 40 gold bolts in the game, and they are one of the MacGuffins that we must collect in order to 100% the game. We shall do our best to do that, just that. That does not, that is not destroyable. But yeah, I'm glad we found the first one. Let's now open this door. Excellent. Keep our eyes open for any more mushrooms that we can destroy, as well as any more walls that look suspicious. What's down here? Another short swim. Good thing it is short too. We don't have the, uh, the power to swim for long. Nice deep nudie, uh, uh, moody music as we proceed through that section. But nonetheless, we have completed it. More stuff. We now have this section to go through. If we click view missions, we can't actually see just yet. But I believe on the uh, ship selection screen we can see how many gold bolts there are per planet. So it's something to keep in mind. I think it is time we purchase the Porosita. You might as well. It's a good weapon. I got some great bargains for you. Let's not purchase ammunition for it though. Oh yeah! The Porosita. This will now be added to our Quick Select, which I've not needed to use yet. Like so. I might actually uh, end up uh, customizing that as time goes on, but for now it'll do where it is. In this section, however, we want to use the Bomb Glove because it's very good at killing these things. And of course those little uh, robot beaky creatures, they die easily to the Omni Wrench. Not like that though, that's just, that's just messing up. We are stunned while the, uh, the Omni Wrench is in flight. Just something to keep in mind. Fortunately the, uh, the Bomb Glove has a nice generous auto aim on it, so... It's fairly difficult to mess up. We can grab some ammunition. Thank you. And continue to fell the enemies and gather their bolts from their corpses. Such as the circle of life. There we are. Excellent. So far they're gathering a nice amount of bolts to make up for the purchase we've just made. Some more gunner bot things. Probably have names, but I don't believe in this game. We have an enemies list, no. In Ratchet and Clank 2, there's an actual, uh, and 3, I believe, there's an enemy encyclopedia which like lists every enemy in the game along with them some flavor text. A bit like uh, XCOM. There's also this mysterious thing. It's terribly mysterious. I think here contains some sort of secret, but we need an upgrade to be able to actually get in there, so... I'm not going to do much of that. You can kill this man, though. Go and grab some more ammunition. And this health. Rather, this nanotech. Patented nanotech. It's nanotech TM. Get it right. You're running from me. There we are. Sorted him out. Let's head up this bridge. It's a holy bridge, as you can see. And a bridge of enemies on it now. Sorted those problems. Oh, 20 Parasita ammo. Excellent. Before we head out further to that clearing up ahead though, we're going to head around the corner because there's some money that we would like from that location.
after we get this ammunition. As much as possible, we'll try to avoid purchasing ammo. It's sometimes necessary, but it's quite expensive, and we need that money for weapons and progression. So, you know it is. What's around this corner? Nothing. Apparently. We'll see though, because this is like, actually off the map completely, so... <laughs> Who knows, eh? Secret areas are not shown on the map unless you get the map matic item. Let's get out here if we can. Thank you. I see some glistening here and there. Is there some money hidden in the bushes? There is. Alright, here we go. Almost made back that uh, parasita cost now. Look at that bolt stuck up there. Come back! What's well, a nut, but. Yeah, nuts are worth more than bolts, apparently. Even though people still refer to them as bolts. Just miscellaneous bits of hardware. And some ammunition. We'll take it. I'll be showing off the uh, the weapon shortly. Actually, let's do it today. Let's do so now. This is a decent enough spot for it. Come on down, everyone. There we are. And I'll talk to you all alive. That's the power of flamethrower. <laughs> it's a good weapon. And as we enter, a ship descends, surrounded by three of those ranged enemies. Let's use our bomb glove, shall we? And now all the enemies are defeated. Don't hurt me, don't hurt me. Oh, what are you? Mercenaries? Torturers? Assassins? I I I'll tell you anything. Here, Take my infobot. It's all I've got left. Sir, we're not assassins. Hold on. Let's see what he's got. Has this ever happened to you? Hi, I'm Captain Quark, and believe me, there's nothing worse than stirring down a Blargy and Snaggle Beast from the inside and knowing your equipment isn't functioning properly. That's why I come to Al's Robo Shack for all my electronic needs. Al has been the exclusive repair shop for my super electro gadgets since I was knee high to a sand mouse. If Al can't fix it, it's not broke. Right, Al? Ah. You said it, pal. So if you're fighting crime or just fighting grime, <laughs> come to Al's Robo Shack in Metropolis for all your robotic repairs. Al's Robo Shack, it's quarktastic. Do you know what this means? Yeah, Captain Quark is really sold out. No, it means Captain Quark is on Metropolis. We could tell him about this invasion. If we had a ship. Uh, what? Uh, a ship? What? You're not going to torture me? Well, this planetary chairman and I could arrange for you to borrow our courier ship. Cool. You can count on us, sir. Right. Thank you, your chairman shipliness. Now that you have coordinates to two new planets, you can use your ship. Press the select button to bring up the map. Your ship is marked with a star. We now have a ship, and we have two planets to enter. And that was also the first appearance of Captain Quark. A, uh, quite, a, quite a, uh, a fun character from the Ratchet & Clank franchise, that's for sure. Uh, a superhero that certainly makes a lot of money off of being a superhero, that's for sure. <laughs> Let's uh, keep going, shall we? And it's also sort of a bit of a... A reveal of the capitalistic nature of this uh, this universe. The whole game is a satire on capitalism, really, but it is fun. Ooh, some crates I missed before, apparently. We'll have them. Got them. And up we go. And now we have our ship. It's green. And I think that we shall enter it next episode. Thank you all for watching. When we come back, we will enter this ship and visit one of the two new planets.